In this video, we will answer one of the viewers' questions, which was how to change the grid color in a radar chart in Chart.js. All right. So this question came from one of my videos about how to create a ROI calculator in Chart.js, which is quite interesting if you like to have something interactive. And then if you scroll down here, you can see here the question came from Pedro Kleins. So a special thank you to Pedro for asking the question. And this is what he says. Hello, my friend. I'm your student from YouTube and Udemy. So first of all, thank you for joining my Udemy course as well. And I have a question about radar chart. In the new version of Chart.js 3, I don't know how to change the grid color. I've tried and searched, but without success. Please, which command do I put inside the options? Thank you. All right. So let me show you because in Chart.js 3, they have shifted or changed the structure to make it what they call tree shakeable and our more organized which is good but it requires some adjustment luckily it's not that hard so let's start and work on that so the first thing what i recommend you to do is go to the uh, charges 3com getting started on this link we're going to get the default code i'm going to copy the entire default code and if you want to understand what this code does please check out this youtube video here all right then I'll paste this in here. Once I paste that in, I want to cut this out, put it in there. All right, delete this extra space here. Make sure the title is correct. If I refresh here now, we have a nice bar chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust that. I'm going to remove all the colors and we're going to convert it into a radar chart. So to do that, I need to make sure that the width is correct because we will get a square size and 700 would be too, too big for the a radar chart so in here i'm going to maintain this weekly sales i think that's probably better grammar remove all of these extra arrays or basically the array we're going to remove we're going to have a sync color here i'm just going to copy this paste this in here make sure this is value of one to make it solid all right we leave that there that's fine convert this into a radar chart save this and refresh all right so we have this here oh i see the skills we're going to remove the skills here, or basically I'm going to remove this part here specifically because we're going to pinpoint the skills here. All right, the reason why you struggle to find it is because it is uh, re repositioned into the scales. Basically, we are working with a few items here. This is what we call a radial chart. So uh, we have the X and Y value, and in this case, we're not working with X and Y. We're working with the radial or the R value. And then we have here these angles. We have here the grid lines, and then we have, of course, these point labels, and we have here the the ticks. All right, so we're going to color them all, so you have an understanding how to do every single one of them. And after that, I will show you as well where you can find it specifically on Chart.js. All right, so first of all, uh, we have the the angle. If I'm not mistaken, it's the angle lines. and no sorry this is not the, what we want to do what we need to do first is the r make it radial because we're now not pin, uh, pinpointing the x or the y but we're pinpointing the radial all right so in here the uh, angle if i'm not mistaken it's the angle lines and here we can say color and let's give it a color let's give it a red and see what happens if i save this now let's see here there you are so these are the angle lines these Pinpoint specifically the lines here, that is basically the spider web foundation. Now let's get the grid lines. So same structure for grid lines. You do comma, we say here uh, grid, um, I think it's grid, and we say here color, red, save that. There we are. So now we have these grid lines which are called grid. Before they were, I know in Chart.js 2, they called them grid lines. And now they remove that they change it to grid because the grid are basically the lines. All right. So final two options is here the uh, the point labels. So we're going to do them as well. It's very straightforward. Point labels. And this could be. I'll well, make this blue. If I save that one. Uh, oh, sorry. Of course, not like that. Sorry. We have to give it a color. So we say your color is the shorthand that we use. Blue save that refresh there you are now these are blue final is the ticks so we go here we say ticks color 
And here we also say we can make this a purple. Save that, refresh. It's very hard to see if it's even purple, so I would just change that. I'll make this blue. Save that, refresh. There you are. So now they are blue, and that's basically it. So this is the way how you can adjust all these colors. So where can you find this? It's basically in the radial axis. This is very important. So if we are here, so let me refresh it. So we go to the default, then you go to axis, and we go here to the different axis. But the radar chart uses not the Cartesian axis, which are basically x and y values. We're using the radial axis. So you click here on the radial axis. Once you have this radial axis here, you can find the visual components, which I just showed you. And these are just all of the items here being shown with the R as well in the scales. Same here, grid lines. Specifically for grid, they use the term grid now, not, not anywhere like charge has two grid lines. Point labels, which are all the point labels I just handled, and finally the ticks. Alright, so I hope this answered your question. Oh, maybe one more thing that might be interesting. Maybe you want to give it a multiple color. So let me show you something. We can make an array out of these things. So let's put it here for the grid lines, because that can be fun as well. Make this blue, comma, green. And then if I save this now, go back here, you can see here it starts to change the colors. And afterwards, what happens, this is a common thing now in ChartGS3. It has a pattern. It loops these patterns consistently. Beautiful. So this is basically what you could do. You could do it for every one of these items. They are all, uh, basically, they allow an array option. So we can see here. Let's see if we, does that work? Yes, you can see here as well. Now these uh what do you call these angle lines? That's the term. Angle lines are blue, green, red, blue, green, red, etc., etc. So these are one of the options you can play around regarding to the grid or everything on the radar chart.